All right, everyone. So today we will discuss pages 20 and 22. It is in your uh, in your book. And over there we have 2B and 2D. Over here we will expand on past simple because last time we discussed in the first unit we have discussed past simple. This is a one-time action. And today we will discuss further how we can uh, use the past tense. We have used it as a one-time action before and today we will continue with the continuous way. Continuous tense, just like when you have the present continuous, it describes something that is happening over some period of time. So there is some duration. duration. So if you look at the past simple, which you already should know, then we go back to the past that we know. So as we said during our lessons, it is the clear past. And we can make the past clear using many different methods. For example, we can say when it happened inside the sentence. It can be the time, day, or month, or year. There are many different ways. You could also say uh, when I was, and you continue. So you can give me the sentence where you will describe when something happened. This is also one of the ways we can make the past clear. We can also continue with saying that past, which would be everything on this line, past is finished. And if something is finished, that means there is no effect on today. So let's have a look how we can use these two tenses. As we used for the past simple, it must be a one-time action that is finished and that is in the clear past. We can say the clear past in the sentence. Or we know it from the context, we know it from the situation, and uh, both speakers know which kind of time in the past we are referring to. So, let's have a look how I can form it. There are regular verbs and irregular. The regular verbs are very easy, we just add ed or ied, alright, or just d. This depends on the spelling. This is something you should already know, so I don't want to spend too much time here. For irregular verbs, we simply have to remember go, went, say, said. Alright? These kind of verbs simply must stay in our heads. And if we go to the, to the negative, I simply need to create uh, an extra verb that would be do. And the past tense moves to the verb do. So do becomes did. So I say I didn't didn't go, for example. I cannot say I didn't went. This would be incorrect because I can only have one past tense on each verb here. So it, it is either on do, didn't, and if I say in the affirmative, in a positive kind of way, I say I went. Now, there can also be a question, so I can say did you, did you go? I'm, I know what kind of past I'm referring to, and also, uh, most speakers have a clear idea where it happened, when it happened, and also we know that it's finished. That means there is no effect on today. So did you go? And the answer would be yes, I did. No, I didn't. This is something you should know from 1B and 1D. Let's have a look at how we can make a big difference with the past continuous. If you look at the timeline over here, the timeline will show you that this was an action that took some time. Over here we use the verb was or were. This depends on the, the subject. So if it's I was, then I say I was. And if it's you, then you were. And then it's very easy. We just add the ing form. So let me show you some examples. I was studying. Alright? Now, of course, I can use the word studied. I studied. Alright? And the studied is um, a little bit different. With the word studied here, I mean that this action is finished. And we can translate it uh, with, uh, with the way of saying studoval sem. And also, we can add another thing to it. We can say vistudoval sem, that's all. 
So for example, you could say, I studied at a university. That means your studies are finished over there. But if I want to make sure that the speaker will hear that it took some time, I can say, I was studying at the university. It took some time. It was, it started, let's say, in 2011, and it finished in 2014. It took three years, but I'm saying that this action took some time. I want to really stress the idea that it took some time to finish this. There's also the negative form, I wasn't, right? I wasn't studying, so again, ing. And in the question, or of course you say you weren't, you weren't studying. And in the question, you ask, were you studying? The answer would be, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Right? We always need to use the grammar verb over here that will show us the tense. Alright, now here's the thing. Some verbs like this can be a little bit uh, strange to us because, uh, for example, study does not make a big difference. Right? If I say it in the simple as a one-time action or if I say it as a duration and continuous, there is not really such a big difference. So, we need to remember that certain verbs for example, study, or live, or stay, or work. These four verbs, they don't really, uh, it doesn't really matter too much if we use it for simple or continuous. You should remember that. So that means you cannot make a mistake with these verbs. If you use it in the correct tense, which would be on the line, then it doesn't matter if you use it as a simple or a continuous form, right? With all the other verbs, it is very important. But now, I can actually combine these two tenses together. I can put past simple and past continuous in one sentence. Let's have a look at how I can form it. The first one, I will say, I was studying, all right? That's right there. And I'm saying that it took some time. It is finished. As always, it is finished. It is clear fast. I know when it was happening. Right? And then I continue and I say, when I met my wife, for example. Right? So I was in the middle of the process of studying. And then something happened while I was in the process. I was studying, this is the first action, action one, and the second action, the second action happened here, and meeting someone is a one-time action, right? If I meet my wife, it didn't take a long time, I cannot say I was meeting, so I would just say I met my wife, and it's an action that enters another action that had some duration, right? So, uh, that's right here, you can see it right here. And again, I can say the same sentence with the same idea, and I can switch the tenses. And I can say, I met my wife, and I start with the one-time action. But here, there is a big difference uh, when it comes to how I connect these two sentences. So I say, I met my wife while I was studying. And don't forget, guys, as always, this action is finished. That means there is no effect on now. And it depends what I want to say first. Do I want to stress that I met my wife? Or is more important to say I was studying? The very first part of this is what you find more important. If it's more important to say that you were studying, right? Then you should say I was studying. If it's more important to say, I met my wife, and we already know that you were studying, then you should say, I met my wife. This is the first, the new information should be the first, okay? So here, new information is the first one. And if, if both are new, correct? If, both, if we don't know both, then what is more important to you? Is it more important to say that you were studying or more important to say you met your wife? 
This is what you choose when you speak. But don't forget, we have these conjunctions. We have while and we have when. After when, I must use past tempo. And after while, I use past continuous. Alright, so if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to ask me. We will have an online lesson right now. Feel free to ask me about this. Uh, I will also ask you questions about this and we will try some exercises. What you should remember, let's, do, let's summarize what you should remember. There is a line over here, this is the past tense. Both these tenses are in the clear past. I know when it happened, either from the sentence or from the context. And the second, it is finished. If it's finished, then there is no effect on now. All right? And then we have these two kinds. One is simple. This is a one-time action, something that happened quickly. And the second is continuous. There was some duration. It took some time. It may be, I want to say, it took two years to finish it. So, um, for example, if I want to say that I was studying and I want to say for how long, then I say I was studying for three years. Okay? So this is the preposition you use for you saying how long. Don't forget that at the moment you're speaking, that as we said, it is finished, so that means there is no effect on now. You are not studying right now. You were studying. Alright, thank you very much. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me during the lesson.